everyone, my name is Erica, and here on my channel, California Lucky, I am hosting my first series, 31 Days of Spooky Scraps. Every day has a prompt to scrap, so I will be posting them daily, along with many lovely ladies that are being featured this month, so please check out the calendar below. Be sure to check back while more are added as this month progresses. The prompt for today is sweater weather. So wherever that prompt should take you, you should go in that direction and scrap it. If you do end up sharing it on social media, please use the hashtag 31 days of spooky scraps. I know it's a long one, but it will help us track each other a lot easier. Now, because it's October, I wanted to switch things up a bit and maybe make my page a little bit darker, a little bit moodier, if you will. So I have a photo of myself in a sweater walking in our neighborhood that has tons of beautiful bear and spooky trees, if you will. So I took my Posca paint marker and drew some janky looking trees, but I'm taking the black Posca marker and rubbing it between my fingers so I can zhuzh up the trees a little bit and give them a little bit of texture. I will be fussy blading them out and using them as embellishments behind my photo. This was an inspiration brought to me by Yana McCarthy because she always has beautiful die cuts and I'm so stubborn. I don't wanna buy another machine to die cut. So if I can make it myself or at least try to, I, I will do that first. So um, in the beginning of the video, I did prep my work area with clear gesso. Uh, not just because of the watercolor, but because it would give the page a, kind of a wet pavement feel, and I think you'll you'll see more obviously what I mean later on in the video. I did the saran wrap challenge where I'm taking both the watercolor and the modeling paste and just kind of splattering on the page. It looks a little bit interesting, but we'll see how it pans out. So I'm backing my photos here with uh, One Canoe 2, which I thought was perfect because they this collection, it's very moody in my opinion. So I think this is perfect for this page. I still had a couple of other pieces of paper from the, I believe, Goldenrod collection from One Canoe 2, so I'm fussy blading this beautiful flower out along with two flowers from the Jen Hadfield, the Avenue, Astra Avenue. If you watched my fall and Halloween haul video on Instagram TV, I did show you this piece of paper along with a few others that I got. So now I'm just inking around my border just to give it a little bit of contrast. So now onto my title, I did hop on my Cricut and this is a Heidi Swap cut file that I layered four times to give it a little bit of dimension. Thanks Christina over at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club for the tip. So now comes the challenging part, figuring out where the heck everything is gonna go. So just to explain a little bit, the mixed media in the background is supposed to be an extension of the semi-cloudy sky in the background and the little trees, an extension of the trees around me as I was walking. I did include some flowers and hearts because the prompt is sweater weather, not haunted forest. So I definitely wanted to still keep it a little light and a little pretty. <laughs> Now I brought in some Allie Edwards, I brought in some Felicity Jane in the flower die cuts and the heart die cuts as well as that tag in the bottom right hand corner. Now because this is a little bit of a different layout, I'm trying to stick with what I know and I'm trying to create a visual triangle in that bottom right hand cluster. It kind of should resemble a triangle to you. It's a narrow top and a wider bottom and then at least that kind of brings a little bit of familiarity to my eye. So now I'm working on the top right hand cluster. That one's gonna be a little bit different, but I'm still going to try to include some pops of color of blue and yellow and green up there. The title I did struggle with, I think it's because the shapes are similar of both words, but I thought they were so beautiful and I worked so hard on them. So I just decided to commit, as Victoria Marie says, and I just glued it down and I did back and layer everything with foam adhesive tape, which it's done. I am completely 
out of foam adhesive tape, so I had to use these little foam adhesive squares. So the rest of the embellishments, I'm kind of going in and cutting these tiny little squares and peeling off the little bits of paper and trying to mount everything, but it all worked out. Uh, there I took my stays on and I stamped I Love Autumn, that stamp is from Felicity Jane, and then lastly, I am adding in some lines of journaling because if you don't journal, it doesn't count at least in this house. And finally, I added a zigzag stitches only to the tops and the bottom of the page to add some contrast. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you like this. I hope you check out the amazing ladies below in the info box. And I hope you scrap along with us for the 31 days of spooky scraps. Thanks for watching. Bye.